Having the opportunity to use bedside ultrasound in diagnosing and caring for patients is really a tremendous opportunity. In this part of, of the world, oftentimes we have limited access to a range of, of technology, limited access to imaging, limited access to laboratory resources, and therefore anything that can be done to improve the diagnostic capabilities of the physicians and the caregivers at the bedside is going to make an incredible difference to our patients. It looks like it is a very helpful uh, tool. It kind of augments your clinical picture, uh, your uh, clinical acumen, and you can quickly um, rule out uh, you know, something which is more urgent, uh, but it can help you direct you also to the diagnosis. In Tanzania as a whole, oftentimes in hospitals, there may not even be any x-ray capability. And therefore, to train our doctors and our doctors who are in training to go out into other parts of Tanzania, it's very important that they have this technical skill and equipment available to them so that they can make proper diagnosis in our most rural parts of Tanzania. The biggest barrier will be the, the willingness to, to learn technology. That will be the first barrier. But the second barrier is availability of the bedside ultrasound themselves. Uh, obviously, lack of equipment is a, is a major barrier for us. To have sufficient ultrasound machines, portable ultrasound machines available within the hospital is a challenge in a resource-poor environment. And then secondly, even when one has the equipment, is whether we've had the opportunity to train in their use and to have sufficient number of people who are comfortable with basic ultrasound techniques that we can begin to use them in a regular manner and on a regular basis. Learning the basics is one thing, putting them in practice is another. So what we need is maybe on our side now to try to improve after learning the basics, mm -hmm. but also our continued support from the trainers. I believe that clinicians in the environment of of understanding their patients and trying to assess their problems can use this tool quite easily with, with introductory training and with a lot of practice. There's certainly parts of it that we as clinicians are never going to master ourselves and yet to be able to do those preliminary steps and preliminary examinations to help us to determine the best route forward with the care of a patient I think is well within our capabilities of doing.